da 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 So later in the late 90s, they go back to their classic Disney characters with Goof Troop. And Goof Troop is uh, basically DuckTales, okay? It's these nephews and, and nieces and nephews that want to go on adventures, and their uncle takes them on these trips. Well, it's the same thing, but they use Goofy. You remember Goofy? He's a dog. I think he's a dog. I'm pretty sure Goofy is a dog. But anyway, Goofy takes his family on these adventures, and that's all it's about. Yeah, it's very, very safe. It's fun for the whole family. And what's really interesting is Goofy um, is his usual self. He just gets into silly trouble because he's clumsy. He doesn't seem very smart. But something that we realize is everybody around him, his family and his friends, are very, very regular people. They're not superheroes. They're not super clever. They're just regular people. And we also learn that despite all the troubles that Goofy gets everybody into, Goofy is a genuinely good person. And I, and I kind of think we need to bring Goof Troop back. We really need to bring Goof Troop back. We, we need more and more Americans to watch this cartoon again because I think a lot of Americans have forgotten what it is to be nice to each other, even though we disagree a lot. Yeah, that should we should bring it back. We really should. So, um, now we're going to do something where we where Disney leaves its classic characters and starts to get into totally new characters, new art styles, new storytelling styles, and I'm of course talking about Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb is definitely for older kids, but not for teenagers and college students. But, but, but it is smart enough that, you know, like if you're a high school student and you're doing homework and you're bored, you can have this on. It's okay. You should, it's not, you, you don't have to feel like it's for babies, you know. But it's definitely not for babies, actually. So, like, a little, like small little kids w won't really follow. It's too slow. But, you know, 9, 10, 12-year-olds will dig Phineas and Fur because it's got three things. One, it's about family. It's got, it's got these two brothers who are actually stepbrothers. So it's a modern family, not a traditional family. And... Uh, they every every weekend every weekend they get into some trouble because they're trying to do stuff, and they're because of their imaginations they use their imaginations to get into trouble, and their big sister who is actually technically their half sister, um, again that mixed modern family, is is out to prove that that her little brothers are making all this trouble. And it, and it, the whole, each episode, all episode is, they get into trouble, but how are they going to get out of it before their sister can prove they're the ones who did it? Um, but, I mean, spoiler, every episode ends with, at the very last minute, something happens where everything works, everything falls into place normally and the big sister can't uh, point to something that they did wrong and get them in trouble with their mom. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's how it ends. That's number, number one. Number two, it's a musical. It's a musical. In the songs, sometimes they're not very good. Sometimes they are really hilarious. Number three, they have a pet platypus. Do you know what a platypus is? A platypus is a weird animal. Look it up. 
platypus. But there is a pet platypus. And because these two brothers have very, very active imaginations, the platypus is like a detective looking for the solution to some mystery. It's great. It's great. It's very fun. So this is a very creative, very unusual way to tell a story that is not typical traditional Disney. This is something new. And I want to say, when was Phineas and Ferb? 2007. Um, so what are some other uh, cartoons around this time? Teacher's Pet. Teacher's Pet, this was in 2000. Um, Kim Possible. Kim Possible, where there was a, a, a girl high school student, or was she a college student? I think she was a college student. Anyway, a girl hero. She wasn't a superhero. She was able to uh, 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 do all her adventures using her smarts.